boom, it's Graceful Thunder. And today I'm gonna try to be a little bit more upbeat if I can be, because I realized that a bunch of people have been thinking that I am a robot because um, I kind of seem to be a little bit emotionless. So yes, I am gonna prove that I am a human being. Okay, so I had said a little while back that I would like to show some people's realms. And I said, if you want me to show your realm, then you should drop some warp food on the donation table. So I was planning on doing a video on that, but the thing is, only one person dropped any warp food. So I guess we'll take a peek at that person's realm. And then I'll just show you around my realms a little bit, because... Yeah. Why is it that when I am trying to be a human being, I stammer a lot more? Is that what humans do? Wait a minute, this sounds less and less like a human every minute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so yeah, I'm still gonna try to do this thing. If you want to have your realm shown in a video, then you can either come talk to me about it, we'll figure out a time when maybe you can be like a tour guide around your realm and I would love to feature people's realms or if you've got a parkour that you want to be featured in a video forewarning I'm not the greatest at parkours I have been practicing I'm trying I'm decent but it's still not very good or yeah if you got a really neat realm build sort of thing I'd love to show that as well but let's go ahead Let's go here, to this person's realm. Okay, Crucifix's shop. This seems like a nice enough place. And Spooky... No, why did I say Spooky? That's his pet's name. Uh, Sheffy Deadly is saying kaboom. I don't know why. It's kind of dark in here. It is spooky. I was right on my first saying of that. Okay, um, how do I get up? There's a way in here, I'm sure. Uh, there was probably a door or something. What's this? No, this is a cell. Okay, whoa, there's a bit of a lag spike for you there. It's been pretty nice that... Um, my internet hasn't been too bad today so far. We'll have to see later on about that, but so far, so good. I think. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. Okay, let's go back to my realm. Oh yeah, by the way, this pilgrim skirt came from Brotherhood. He showed up kind of right before my video and gave it to me. And it's not a thing like he was trying to get it, give it to me for a video or anything. Don't think that of him. No, he had good intentions for it. He just wanted to be nice and I'm grateful for that. Okay, so let's show around my realm. It's called Graceful Thunder's Realm. As you can see up in the chat box right here. Sniff. This is Jeff. My name is Jeff. And this is my mailbox. We have letters. This is the private mailbox for if you don't want your letter in video. Because I know that there are a couple people who want to send letters every now and then, and they don't want their letter read in a video, but they did want to send me a message. So, that's what this mailbox is for. And this other one is for send me a letter, and I'll read it in a video on my channel, Graceful Thunder. What was that? I think I stumbled again. So yeah, we've got... Okay. Check those. We have six of them. I'll probably wait till there are a few more before I do another letter reading video. What should we look at first? There's a lot in this realm because... Oh, uh, let me think. You know what? I've got an info bumper in here. I may as well just go bump that to remember when I first started this realm. In October. Last year. Okay, so, why are there so many okay so's? I have a feeling that I'm gonna be noticing that when I'm editing. You know what? Who cares? Never mind whatsoever. What in the world is going on? 
Okay. We've got vending machines, a tiny little shop here. Cause I don't know. We got the donation tables in the ground. This is the most recent guestbook bumper. So if you wanted to put your name on a guestbook bumper for some reason, then yeah, it's half full. The other two are completely full and I could have reset them, but there's kind of memories on them. Um, I don't know, I didn't want to lose them. Um, so, yes, yep. Okay, so the Dark Pope's seat. He gave me that stump and asked me to place it in here. Said it could be for his seat. So I said, okay. Also, this is the most excellent book. Reasons why you should poke Ed. Or should I call him Ned? Because nub plus Ed. The library storytelling room. I'm sure y'all have already all seen this. The house that goes to the giveaway realm. Yeah, that's a thing. Okay, so there's 101 ways to shush joystick. And he gave me that flower, so I put it by the same book. I don't know. Should I go around the realm first and then show rooms? <laughs> now I'll show rooms as I go. Okay, so library storytelling room. I noticed that a lot of people kept coming to me and they wanted to either tell me a crazy story that they made up or they wanted to tell me some story about their day, something that they had done recently that they were excited about or that they were worried about or whatever. People like to tell me stories about things. So I kind of had this idea, what if I make a library where we could sit down and it would be cozy and we could talk? Or I can just put a bunch of books with random names. So we've got, this is the library or storytelling room here, you can share your story or listen to others, or just find a good book to read. And we've got quite a few at this point. At first I was struggling for names, and all my friends couldn't take it seriously, but I got a couple, and I think Pope half suggested some, I modified his suggestions. I also took space fetus came in one time and he was suggesting some things so i took two of his ideas this is definitely his a tale of seven hearts and let us read a book of vegetable puns that's a thing also this book the murder of pope jr the cat originally i just said the murder of pope jr but i changed it to add on the cat because people who don't know the inside joke would be saying why are you writing about the pope Junior's murder, Grace, you're weird. The 2018 Guide to Acubic Prices. That would be nice. Do I need to go through and explain all the books? I feel like I don't really need to go through and explain all the books because the rest of them are pretty self-explanatory. And you can come through and look at the books yourself if you want. If you have book ideas, then feel free to either leave them in the comments or come and tell me. But let's go on and move to another room before I spend too much time in the library. What was that with the camera movement? I am bad at cinematics. Okay, we have Sans the Skeleton 837 equals my even evil wabbit slash snowman son. So that's another thing. Don't take it weirdly. I think I already did a video explaining about this before, but I kind of have quote unquote adopted some kids in cubic castles. I think I've got five or six or seven, I can't remember the exact number. Basically how the process works is they come to me and say, hey Grace, can you be my mom? And I say, okay. And then after that, forever more, that means that we bomb each other with cubie bombs when we get the chance and we're a horrible family to each other. Th that's how it goes. We don't actually do anything like a normal family. It's not a roleplay or anything. Yeah, we have Farts of Fury's office. This is one of those that... I let some people permanently rent spaces in, well, houses or whatever. And some of those have glass roofs and some of them I added coal. The coal roofs, some of them I added on and Fady Foam later and other people just put glass. Oh, Cubicle has breaking news. Let's see what it is. Never mind, that's fake news. 
Anyways, back on to the tour. We've got the Dark Pope's vacation home. He's got a lot of cakes and flowers. And a lot of tokens. You can donate tokens to him as well. I don't know what he's collecting them for, or if he's actually going to do anything with them. But if you want to donate tokens to the Dark Pope, you can. I don't take them. This is Cosmic Fluff's house. I was... I, I let them rent, but then they didn't really do anything with the house, so I don't know anymore. This one is actually not permanently rented. I think... Yeah, MG and Stargazer built this. And it was just so nice that I couldn't bear to uncover the bumper. I'm gonna have to eventually, because it's not a permanently rented place. So I can reopen it for other people to build in again. Because it's kind of not fair that I covered that the bumper is still covered. But for now, it's too nice. It looks really cool. Let's see. This is another one where somebody covered up the bumper. Another one where somebody covered up the bumper. We've got rental house space spaces in here. Why did I put a Z in that? This is a permanently rented. Let's see, whose was this? It's not really me. Okay, so that's E. And this is one of those where I added a roof and Fady foamed it because it's not really me asked me to do that. Or actually, no. Yeah, they added the roof and I Fady foamed it. This one, I added the roof and Fady foamed. Gaming team YT. One of the things that makes me hesitant about letting people permanently rent houses is that a lot of the time, people will permanently rent the house and they think that it's fun, and they personalize it, and they make it all great, and then they never come back. And so it kind of feels like it's unfair because then nobody can rent that space because it's permanently taken, and I can't really give it away because I already told the person I was going to let them keep it, and I like to keep my word. A hard situation. There's Cubicle with the fake news. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Oh yeah, this is the door to Sansa's realm. There is still so much in my realm. I'm gonna have to make some cuts to make this video even short enough to bear with. The Dark Support's house. He is the first one who got a permanent house. And he's still got stuff in here. Okay. He kept pranking me for a while. Annoyed me to no end by placing a pedestrian block in there. Occasionally, I find random signs back here. Like, one time, Space came in here cloaked and left a sign saying he was here, so that was interesting. And so one other time, I came back here to find a couple signs of somebody saying, Grace, I donate for you. I'm your fan, or something like that, which is... Thank you? Yeah, this is another reason right here. This person wanted to rent forever, but then they never did anything with it. It's just empty. I don't even remember who exactly it was because I didn't have a chance to put a sign at the time. Forget you saw that. Okay, um... This is Anel's castle. He pays me 50 cubits per hour to guard it's a scram fellow QB. Okay, so the funny thing about this was Anel wanted to customize his walls. So I let him have permission in here so he could customize the walls, and he did them now, and he started to work on it, and then he never came back, so I took away his permissions. But he, he didn't come back and do anything. I guess he's busy with real life now. Here's another thing. I had gotten to the point where I was just sitting on a lot of recubes, so I thought, why not? I'll just test some things. 24 plants here. So I think that maybe if y'all want it, then I'll come back later doing a video kind of showing all the things that I get from those, because that's quite a few of them. Let's see, what else do we have? Cubicles using my favorite phrase thing. I actually stole that phrase from another friend from a little while ago. Using a whale emoji and then putting then. Oof. Okay, I think I already did a video on my cave. So, I don't know. If you want a video on the cave again, if I didn't already do one, then let me know about that. We've got Joyce's house. Joystick's garden. 
This is my hidden garden where I like to rest and chill. There's something special in this chest, but that's a secret. Joy. Oh yeah, all this time of wandering around, and I haven't even shown one of the things that took me a while and a lot of resources. This was my beach that I made last year for close by summer. So this has about 6,000 water in it, which at the time, that was a huge project for me. But you should see my other huge project. I'm not sure if I'll show it in this video or not. If you know me, then you probably know what it is. We also have the I smell like beef pig. I like using dead memes on my tip pigs. It just makes a better experience. The Rainy Pier is kind of like an old lobby-ish place that I made a while ago. Well, the thing is, it was what another one of those that I let Jack Fury help. And he did more than just help, he just kind of took over the whole thing, so I didn't get to do much. Yeah, so lately, that's part of the reason why I've been insisting on doing my own builds, because I want to do this myself. So this whole realm that I've been showing you so far, I did it myself. Quite proud of it, too. I did this. I've shown the farm room before. I need to replant the corn and get those eggs. Maybe I'll do a new farming tour eventually sometime, but this video is already going to be so too long with just this one realm. <laughs> what else do we have? Hmm. We have my little workstation here, which I built a little while back, and it used to serve me well, and it kind of still does. But I'm beginning to think that I need to build myself a bigger one. We've got Cubicle Fun is my evil child. And Nell is a good child, maybe. How many of these signs have I actually looked at? Oh yeah, there was another one over here somewhere. Let me see. Yes, the Book of Cass from Mr. Castillo. Moo Moo, it's Jose, the jolly pizza cow. Let's see. We also have... No, that's not uh, interesting. Regine's sofa. He gave me a sofa and wanted me to place it. It was kind of like the Dark Pope, actually. In that arrangement. But, yep, that's a thing. We also have, over here, Q-Meow. Jason Arc 999. I feel like I'm sinking out of my upbeatness. I need to be a... A fascinating human being again. Grace's Diary, page 77. There are not enough llamas. Never enough. The search continues. Anyways. Okay, this is a random bench with a coffee sign on it. I saw one of these in somebody's realm, and I just had to have one. And then after I built this one, somebody told me that G-Dog had one as well, so I looked that up, and I went and watched his video, and I went and tried the thing out for myself. It's awesome, you should go check it out. It kind of, it really shows off his realm. I might do that sometime as well, but that's also like copying. Or is it inspired? I could put a sign giving credit, like I saw this from G-Dog first and thought it was a cool idea. So we got this, if you ever want to fly, oops, lost my camera, lost my camera again, I can't seem to do this right, here we go, that's what I meant to do all along, you didn't see my failed attempts at all. So that's the thing, we got a bunch of mushrooms, cupcake panda with a heart. Lick child extraordinaire. She likes to lick. I don't know why. They have a pet habitat. I don't think I'll be showing off my pet room because I've been having an issue lately with every time that I show my pet room or people see it, then they automatically get like, I don't know if you see in cartoons sometimes where they animate these green circles in people's eyes when they become envious or start wanting something really badly. 
it's like I can just imagine those green circles in people's eyes. Like, I'm not trying to be rude or selfish or stingy or anything, but it's just... When people see the pet room, they just can't seem to help themselves. They immediately begin to ask. They're like, can I have one, please? Just one. But then the thing about that is, if I just, if I give everyone just one, then I don't have any pets left. And I did have to work for those. So I occasionally give things, but it, I can't do it all the time. This is just a little random thing down here. This door does not lead to anywhere. Somebody mentioned that I should make it lead to somewhere cool, but I was too lazy for that. So it just takes you to the other side of the realm. Okay, over here, some people have been wondering about this. This is because eventually in the future, I'm gonna build something cool and put the doorway there. But until that day when I decide that I've built something cool enough, it's going to be an empty spot. Let's see, what else have I not shown? I'm a boring human being sometimes. Okay, this is a dirt path going through a forest. I wanted to try a bunch of things with this realm because this realm was kind of my first attempt at really branching out and making something more than just for practical use. I mean, I like practical use and all, but I used to just... I don't know. I had another realm before that I just... The way I built things was so noobish. No, I shouldn't say that. That's kind of demeaning. Um... I just placed things at random, didn't really care how they looked. That's what I meant. So then I thought, I want to get myself a 99 by 99 realm to start over to go with my new name that I want to get. So if you look back in some of my videos, you'll see kind of the progress of that because I was recording in here even before I was done with the realm. I set to it and I decided that I was going to put some more effort into this. So this is the first realm that I really tried in. And then, after that, I kind of hung out, and I watched other people building, like I stalked Ed while he was building, and made random pestering comments to him, because that's fun. And also, I have studied some other people's builds, like, I don't know how to pronounce this, Kokenback is an amazing builder, I don't think I'll ever reach that level of amazing. Space Fetus, Ballerina, I already mentioned Ed, and there's so many more that I can't name off the top of my head, but I wish I could. So basically, pe people keep asking me, how do you... How do you build like this? And my answer is just that I study people. And... I, I watch them build, or I wander around their builds and study them, take notes. I'm careful not to directly copy somebody, because I feel like that's... I don't know, I feel like that's uncreative. What I want to do is just take inspiration and learn. That's what helps me to improve. I guess that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you come back again.